friends, welcome back to Lakeisha Loves to Plan. Today I had to speed this video up. I worked on this for over two hours and I loved it, but I just want to share with you what I did. So I speeded up the process, but please watch it over again if you need to. Right now I'm showing you my war binder, my very first ever war binder. I did it in this small Webster's Pages uh, Traveler's Notebook. I did prayers about racism, about the pandemic, and so many other things. And um, it just really, really fed my soul. And so ever since I I started this I think I started this one in 2020 I have been in love with the idea of a war binder some people call it a prayer journal or a faith journal um, but it is just a little planner a little notebook a little journal that holds my big spiritual connection with God so I love this it's from Carpe Diem so I moved from the little one to this big one and I absolutely love it it has the buffalo check it has the um, flower hours on the front and so in here I cleared it out if you watched any of my other videos you'll see that this was really really decorate decorated but I cleared it out because I am doing a war binder makeover with a Ben Bon Alley takeover and so my first step here was to figure out like what I was going to put in it so I'm going to have six sections I'm going to do the word of the day which is basically just allocating a word from my daily word magazine the second um section is going to be a prayer journal with prayer cards the third section is going to be bible study the fourth section is going to be a collage section like this where i'm going to just use some of my extra vin von ali stickers to make collages and then my fifth section is going to be the poems and quotes section which is really fun because i always find like this like some really nice poems quotes that's actually a scripture but um that's just an example of the type of stuff i want to put in that section and then lastly bible fun uh michelle from vin von alley if you want to order anything from her shop it is amazing she even has fun crossword puzzles that have to do with like scripture i absolutely love it so this is going to go in my bible fun section but i'll put any games here any other um uh, brain trivia or anything in that section so let's start with the um the hustle and heart section here so I'm, I don't I'm not sure if I want to use that dashboard but anyway this is where I'm gonna put my word of the day and I'm gonna get it from this magazine called the daily word and I'm also gonna use some quotes out of here but the daily word you can get this you can go to dailyword.com and order this they have prayers of the month and they have words of the month look at this I can actually just take this page out and stick it in here if I wanted to but um, I like decorating and writing it out myself so I'm gonna go the hard way today um, and I just saw that that lady was a life coach she called my eye but anyway I'm gonna put this in here for the first section so I want to section it out first and then I'm going to decorate um, I got this from vinbonalley.com um, this is a prayer journal in the form of the Lord's Prayer I absolutely love this if you want this go ahead to vinbonalley.com and use my code Lakeisha20 so you can grab that as well and then um, that's my prayer section my next section is my Bible study study section so I just need lined paper here because I'm going to be taking a lot of notes um, even though the paper is yellow but I'll deal with it um, and y'all I just found these dashboards they're cute I think I'm going to use these dashboards throughout the whole thing because I just love the pink bows on them so um, the next section here is going to be my collage section this is my creative section I love being creative and I got this idea actually for my girl Chella Creates from ChellaCreates.com she said, you know what, if you have extra stickers, just make a collage. And I have a lot of extra Vin Von Alley stickers, so I would love to do collages in that section. And then my last section here, like I said before, is the Bible fun section. So I am going to... Um, redo some of these i'm going to decorate these dashboards i'm going to decorate some things within the sections and then um i'll talk you through some of it like right now i look at all those holes in that thing 
<laughs> I messed that thing up, but that's okay. It still looks good. So I'm going to decorate each section and add um, to and fro. I'm also going to decorate the front of this war binder. And guess what? It's going to be 100%, like 99.99% all Vin Von Alley stickers so stay tuned it's gonna be fun stuff together I um, am subscribed to the sub box which the sub box has so much in it and for the price it's so worth it so thank you for enduring that little um, organization part also you got to see all of the beautiful stickers and die cuts and paper um, from Vin Von Alley that I have so you got to see my little stash there so um, right now I am working on the first section which is the word of the day I'm going to decorate this dashboard and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the May calendar and populate it with the words that you saw in that deadly word magazine and I absolutely love that magazine um, each word comes with a devotional that you read every day and so I try my best to read all of the devotionals every day so here I am peeling off some beautiful Vin Von Alley stickers from the May sub box and then I will work to populate the words into the monthly calendar <laughs> about you but that music always calms me all the way down so um I am now working in the month of May I 
whole time very um, sacred um, time is on the 12 month calendar there's 12 disciples so um, I really love just making sure I use my time wisely and um, a majority of that time I want to be like spiritually awake and spiritually sound um, from the time I wake up in the morning the first thing I do is pray before I even open my eyes to get out of the bed and then once I'm out the bed then I meditate I pray some more if I need to I read the word and then I read my devotionals um, and look at my word of the day and get inspired by it so um, this process may seem like it's just oh she's just putting stickers down but no no not really I am setting myself up for success uh, what you didn't see me do is I also anoint my um, war binder with holy oil so I have holy oil so I did anoint my war binder and pray over my war binder um, before I started using it um, so that that just shows you how important this process is to me so um, that is the reasoning behind um, this section um, when I thought about my sections I really wanted sections that I can just open up my war binder every single morning focus on God focus on my purpose on earth focus on what he wants me to learn um, throughout the you know my time here on earth and then seek to do um, everything that he desires me to do while I'm here so um, I'm wrapping this up and then I'll move to the next section which is um, I believe the prayer journal <music> to the left I actually got that as a gift from Michelle um, at go wild that is a Vimbon Alley product so if you want to even do like your daily gratefulness there is a pad also in the shop that you can use to do that so there's so many things you can find on vimbonalley.com so make sure you go over there peruse the site see what you like and then don't forget to use Lakeisha 20 to order so now I am working on the next section um, which is is uh, again the prayer section um, I think I'm just gonna put the words pray today right here um, just because I have prayer journal on the tab so I don't have to necessarily put prayer journal on the front of the dashboard too so I'm being a little different and a little creative here but um, when working in your war binder when setting it up take your time like like I said in the beginning of the video it took me a long time to do this but it was wonderful I was listening to gospel music while I was putting it together I took my time and it really came out to be something that speaks to me and makes me feel um, spiritually connected to God and to his word so that's what you want to do you want to make your war binder your own um, don't be intimidated by what I'm doing or what anybody else does with their war binder if you really want to do something like this just follow your heart pray about it and then just go for it um, it's so much fun so what you see me doing now is I'm using a Vin Von Alley envelope usually when she gives you die cuts and stickers she'll give them to you in the these beautiful envelopes so I'm actually going to use repurpose this envelope and use it for my prayer card so I did see a youtuber and I forgot her name but she was putting together she was actually flipping through her war binder and she was sharing um, some prayer cards that she makes for people if um, she says she's gonna pray for people maybe you know if the sick and shut in maybe for someone who's traveling or something like that she has like canned cards she created with like standard 
like travel mercies prayers or prayers for the sick and shut in on cards so i'm totally taking that idea i like that idea and as you can see i packed them nicely in this big envelope i scalloped out the top of it so it can look decorative and now um of course i have to be extra and put jesus in the cross on here <laughs> because this is a prayer card envelope so i wanted to make it known so i'll just write prayer cards on here and then i'll show you um, how the prayer journal works um, if you want the prayer journal it is on venvonali.com and it's in the form of the Lord's Prayer it's about intercession praise and some other key things so I know this is going to be a very heavily used section in my war binder <laughs> So now I am working on my Bible study section and in this section I just simply have lined paper. Um, I'm thinking about using the SOAP method which is scripture, observation, um, application, and um, prayer. So I'm thinking about using the SOAP method. There are a lot of free printables online that use the SOAP method. So I may explore some of those eventually, but right now I just have the lines and um, I am excited about this section too, because I get to study like Bible study um, challenges or Bible study um guides i know um michelle from Vin Von Alley, she does like bible study um pages as well like monthly bible study topics and things like that so i'm really excited to kind of explore what i like the best in terms of studying god's word and then here is this beautiful um foiled uh acetate sheet of paper it has some scripture words on it so i'm just going to put it on the back here so it just won't be plain white i believe this came with the january sub box um from vivon alley so this is absolutely gorgeous and i'm just going to frame it out with some um bling bling um washi that's so pretty too and then um yeah i think that'll be pretty much it for this section until i start to um do my bible study sometimes i do coloring pages when i'm doing bible study because they have so many free bible study coloring pages online so i can see myself also when i study the word maybe breaking out some coloring pages as well um, to to match what i'm studying so um, i'm excited about that section this is the only doll i'm not using from vin von alley this doll i had a long time i got from a d stash but these words around the doll came from vin von alley.com and they're all wonderful words about just self-love um, God love and um, messages from God and so I absolutely love this and this is going to be my collage section <laughs>
the centurion from the um, Matthew. Um, Lord, I am not worthy that thou would have come in. Um, I couldn't read the rest of it. I just turned the page. But um, the centurion is in the Bible. And I have to tell you a story about the centurion. So I showed that man to my husband. He was like, he got more muscles than me. I bust out laughing so hard. It's so hilarious. So... <laughs> That's another collage section using Vivanelli stickers. Um, I love the words, Jesus loving, healing, very powerful words. And so um, that's going to be my collage section. I'm just going to continue to collage out words and, and beautiful uh you know stickers and things like that so now i'm working on the um quotes and poem section of the warbinder i love 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 reading quotes and poems that are in other christian publications so this is um a prayer and um just a saying and not even like quotes and poems it could be a prayer it could be a scripture with a little write-up about it it could be um, a blog entry I'm gonna put all those types of things that feed my soul into this section right here and usually what I do is I just rip them out of magazines or rip them out of the devotionals and um, just place them in here so I'm actually going to practice one. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody with this quotes and poem section in their warbinder yet. So I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this section in case you want to do this section. Um, I'm taking this beautiful um, uh, vellum. Is this vellum or acetate? I think this is acetate paper. I'm going to put this on the back to cover the white. Um, it's gorgeous with... Um, Bible scriptures on it and flowers and then I want to show you how I am going to put another um, entry into this section. the yellow paper from finmanally.com um so now i'm moving um to the next section which is i think this is the second to last section this is my um bible fun oh no th i think this is the bible fun section oh wow okay is this the last section i think this is the last section um this is the bible fun section so i put coffee and jesus here i put the teacups my cup of tea um because i always have fun in my war binder and my other planners i always have to be drinking on something um sitting in my comfy chair like this doll here and just really just enjoying life this i feel like these two pages when i'm working in my war binder i feel like this i feel happy i feel calm i feel relaxed um so these two pages are probably my favorite at this point but this will be in front of um the next section here which is bible fun so i'm leaving this open because if i find any other um bible trivia or games or puzzles or bingo or anything i'm gonna place it back into this section and this is how i make my spirituality fun as well god knows my heart and he knows my personality and um i just really really enjoy um doing fun things with the lord and just praising him too and being serious and having prayer and having bible study but also having fun
Okay, friends. So at this point, I'm moving to the front of my war binder. This is like the grand finale where I decorate the front um, in a way that looks pleasing to me when I open it up. So I am putting this uh, piece of beautiful um, vellum paper. I always get vellum and acetate mixed up. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm saying it wrong. But um, I'm putting it on top to layer it and also protect that first um, dashboard because those dashboards are really not that thick. And then in this space right here, I'm just going to put some uh, planner friends. So Michelle from Vinvon Alley, she has a PR group. Um, I'm part of the PR group, but there are other beautiful ladies in the PR group. So I think I'm going to put them in the front um, of my war binder uh, to decorate it and make me feel sort of like I'm not just all by myself. Um, so I'm working to do that. I also found this at the last minute, this beautiful um, journal with a pen sticker. So I think I'm going to add this to the Bible study um, words right here just because it looks like a Bible. And um, then move back to the front here. So um, I'm going to be putting all of the ladies here. Shout out to the Vivanelli PR team. Hey, ladies. So <laughs> I'm going to add... Um, Ty and Shet, Shet, Shy and Tabby. Shy and Tabby. Shy and Tabby is discontinued, I believe. That At least that version of Shy and Tabby, but I have old stickers, so I'm still going to use that version. Um, and then this uh, beautiful uh, lady here, she was in an older um, sub box a long time ago. So I'm just pulling out some stuff out of my stash, honey, um, to make this front look gorgeous. That Holy Bible there is a foldable um, sticker. And then I have some words here. I think I'm going to put another coffee in Jesus here just because this pink matches with the pink um, throw that the young lady has on right there. So I want to fix it up and make it look cute. section is the word of the day um, okay so then and that's the inside of the word of the day and then we have the month of May here um, which has all of the words for the month here and then we have this extra note section here um, and then we have um, we have our prayer journal section and attached to the prayer journal section is a pocket with journaling cards in there. So we got the prayer cards and then we have the prayer journal here and then this is the full prayer journal that I want to be using daily and then we have the full Bible study section here 
and then we have this is ready to go get your Bibles out and let's do some soap method stuff here and then after that we have the fun section which is the collage section and then here's another um, collage and here is more collages and we're just gonna continue with the collaging and then after that we have the quotes and poems that I love um, to get from different places like this one says guided by the spirit within I let go of all fear and doubt I make wise choices that bring positive results I am perfectly poised to adjust and change circumstances with ease and grace and then this is the inside of it and I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape here um, and then I'm gonna put this here like that okay and then we have an example of like a poem that I made on some paper. And then I gotta do the diabetes prayer over. And then we just have an extra one because I like the way these two look together for the Bible fun. Um, so coffee and Jesus tea. And then here we have um, the inside of the Bible fun. And then um, we have a, a little thing here that shows I should put it behind here and then all of these are um, all of my word puzzles that I'm going to start doing because I just have too many of them I can actually do like a word puzzle book um, so these are all my word puzzles for fun and then back here lastly we have all of the uh, pamphlets, all the pamphlets, and a fully um, decorated bag with some um, prayer hands and some vellum here. And so then we have a door, the door, see, and you shall knock, and this door shall be open. All right, so. I hope you enjoyed this very long um, revamp, makeover, takeover of my um, war binder. I really had an exciting time putting this together and I hope I gave you some ideas. If you like it, please comment and like and let me know what you think. All right. Thanks so much, friends, for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.